Hi guys, welcome back to Griffin's Gaming Guides. Today we're going after another Dirt Rally 2.0 trophy, keeping it real, where you need to complete 15 rally stages with hardcore damage enabled. Hardcore damage is Dirt Rally's version of simulation damage, so crashing the car badly will result in punctures and engine damage. Thankfully, you can get this trophy or achievement by completing short stages in slower cars. And this is a complete trophy, so all you need to do is cross the finishing line. It doesn't matter if you come in stone dead last place, Providing you don't get a DNF and you actually manage to cross the finishing line, it doesn't matter what position you're in. Now to make this trophy or achievement as simple as possible, from the main menu press R1 or RB until you reach the free play tab. Now select custom followed by create championship. Now press the triangle or the Y, then press cross or A on the championship settings options. Make sure that hardcore damage is set to yes and then pick any rally, stage and vehicle class that you wish to do. Now, simply go off and complete that stage. Try and choose one that you're comfortable with, because obviously if you do wipe out, you'll have to restart from scratch again. Now, repeat this process until you've done this 15 times. Your trophy or achievement will unlock in the results screen of your final stage. Now, for me personally, I chose Hawks Bay in New Zealand, and I went for the Peugeot 208, simply because I'm very comfortable with the car and the track. It doesn't matter whether you choose the slowest car in the game or the fastest, but obviously the slower the car and the more kind of linear the track is, the easier time you're going to have with this one. If you go in with some sort of supercar, then you're going to really struggle with this because a couple of knocks and all of a sudden you're trying to drive down a rally stage with a tripod because you would have had a wheel that's completely smashed up, which obviously will make this incredibly difficult. So a slower car for this one will be better. And like I say, it doesn't matter if you come in stone dead last place on all 15 of these rally stages that you need to do with hardcore damage enabled. It doesn't matter. The important thing here is unlocking your trophy or achievement. You can then go off and make yourself feel a bit better, put the AI on easy, go off and win a few races if that's what you want to do. But ultimately, what we need to do here is complete these 15 stages. Well, there's not really much else I can say for this one, to be honest, apart from obviously make sure that you take some time and practice the course. If you're not very comfortable with this one, it'll be a much easier option for you. Just kind of learning your car, learning the track. It doesn't. There's no limit to how many times you can go around the same track. The track itself doesn't change. You could go around the same track a hundred times. By the time you've gone around it enough that you're comfortable, then it's a good idea to chuck your settings on hardcore if you are struggling that much with it. Now, alternatively, you could almost go for a practice with hardcore damage enabled in the hope that well, ultimately, if you finish the stage, if you finish one stage, then you've only got 14 to go. You finish five, you've only got 10 to go. Providing you manage to cross that finishing line, that will be enough to be able to unlock. You're keeping it real trophy or achievement. How did the car feel in that stage? Do you want to make it? So then guys, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comment section how you're getting on with the Keeping It Real Trophy or Achievement. Make sure you subscribe to Griffin's Gaming Guides. After you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future Dirt Rally 2.0 content. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.